right now we should change the lane because the truck seems very slow right but the car is deciding what i'm gonna do it is following the truck oops the brake seems a little harsh here there is a car coming a little fast from the opposite side little hesitation definitely i can feel that Hello everyone, we're back and yes, finally we got the software to try. The version is 12.5.2.1 and we are in New York, Long Island. This is not my car, this is my brother's car, but we're gonna test this out, how it performs in Long Island area, New York area. So let's see, we are in a driveway. So at this situation, I just forget to turn on FSD for my profile because this is my brother's car. The FSD is activated on his profile not in my profile but I forget it but I fix it immediately and I just start driving so let's enjoy the video guys so let's see um, so now I'm gonna turn this on and it should pop up right now uh, the full self driving icon as you can see and we are gonna turn it on so let's see how the car handles this as you can see our car is stopped yet because there is another car approaching from uh, the opposite side so I'm I'm trying I'm gonna try to look at the front uh, no matter what because I want to see how often it uh, says to you know uh, uh, to uh, hold the steering wheel so I'm gonna try my best to look on the front so we are making a right turn pretty nice there uh, I just looked on the left for uh, to see if it's clear or not so I will Tesla FSD beta tester stop scrolling the FSD beta bumper magnet is a must-have this sleek durable magnet clearly signals that your Tesla is in self-driving mode. It's easy to apply, easy to remove, and the perfect accessories for embracing the future of autonomous driving. Don't miss out, grab yours on Amazon today. As you can see right now, we're gonna go straight and change the lane to the left side because we need to march to a different route where the car makes mistake in version 12.3.6. So let's check it out, guys. Also, guys, if you guys are new in this channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel because in this channel, we're gonna talk about full self-driving, Tesla and uh, stuff like that. As you can see, the car brakes a little harsh. Like it was, it, it was deciding what I'm gonna do. It was going very close to that truck and it decided to brake. Not a bad uh, move. So right now we should change the lane because the truck seems very slow, right? But the car is deciding what I'm gonna do. It is following the truck is still now. So we are, we're gonna see how the car handles this one. As you can see, we need to change the lane to the left side and uh, now it is doing it now it is doing it because we need to change the lane to follow the route and we need to change another lane at the very last moment to get into that march lane as you can see right over there so there is a bump here normally the car doesn't detect that so let's see we need to i'm still looking but uh the car avoided that turn completely no like don't know why because it has the gps it's it has telling you to march on that stop sign stop there and th then go but it is just rerouting us on that exact uh, road which is not a bad thing to do but it's just increased the time the main focus of full self-driving will definitely be you know take you from point a to point b probably it can increase the time a little here and there a little hesitation there because there is a car coming a little fast from the opposite side little hesitation definitely i can feel that uh in my chest that the car is you know like um hesitating a little bit to should i go should i not go but at the end it did it perfectly so uh seems a little little hesitant here and there uh compared to version 12.3.6 uh, definitely 12.3.6 sometimes hesitates too, but in this location, uh, it doesn't that much. So we're going to go straight, as you can see, but we need to pick and look on our right side. It didn't uh, slow down and it stopped because on my version of my car, the car slows down a second time to look on the left side and right side. But this time the car seems like it didn't even slow down for the second time after stopping because this is not an all way stop sign. Also, guys, if you guys are new in this channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that, um, you know, you can get update about full self-driving. We're going to make a right turn. Um, okay. Okay. 
And now we're gonna make a left here. And we're gonna see how the car handles this situation. So our first destination is here. Our car is trying to get into a parking lot probably. I just took over because I don't wanna um, take um, or go to another driveway. So if I wanna change it, edit trip, and I'm just gonna cross this one, done, and we're gonna start a new one. So let's see how the car handles this one. So this is a very narrow road. As you can see, the car is approaching a little. Now it slows down. It understands this is a narrow road. So the car is going super slow. And now we are going there. As you can see, pretty nice there. So we are going to go straight and make a left here. But we have to creep a little bit on this stop sign. This is not always stop sign. Our car is creeping. It is looking on the right side. Pretty nice there. Okay, so now... Uh, we are gonna go to our third destination as you can see the car is trying to double park there and uh, I'm gonna just change the end the second stop and go to our third stop as you can see right now the car should proceed um, probably I have to press the acceleration a little bit to tell the car to go um, and you can see that green dot uh, for some reason the car is not going I pressed that acceleration a little bit but now it decided to go we we'll stop for this stop sign and make a right turn but we are gonna creep a little bit definitely as you can see the car is creeping very good there there is a bicyclist the car moved to the left side a little bit. Very nice. So here is a situation mark. My car makes mistake that after stopping this stop sign, it immediately goes. Either there is other, other cars coming from this lane, but this time there is no other car. So our car should just proceed perfectly without any problem. Uh, so very good there. So we are gonna go straight. So as I was saying guys, please make sure you purchase that magnet. It will directly help me and you can just attach that to your car and it will let other driver know that your car can, you know, drive by itself. Thank you. And it's available on Amazon. One thing I noticed that I was completely looking on a straight but the car was saying uh, to um, hold the steering wheel for a bit. I'm completely like straightly looking front, but sometimes definitely the car, the camera could, you know, detect something that I was looking probably left or right. So it's just like a straight road that we're going right now. Seems very smooth, not so, you know, like hesitant here and there, not breaking, you know. Um, there is a situation on that road. There is a black mark in my car. It always breaks. It thinks of pothole or something like that. But this situation, the car didn't think like that and it just went straight very nice. So it stayed in the middle road, which is the right thing to do because we're going to go straight and this is the road we should stay. Very nice. The light just changed. And our car detected that, slows down. Very, very good job there. It seems very smooth, to be honest with you. Like, if you compare to version 12.3.6 or stuff like that, it seems very, very smooth. The braking and stuff like that. When I got from, uh, like, you know, version 12.3.6, 3.6, uh, from version 11.4.9, the feelings I got, like, it's very smooth and stuff like that. It feels like that, right? It's still much better than version 12.3.6. Now we should process it. It's green. The car is stuck. Okay, now it's going. Interesting. Like it took probably three seconds just to move after the light change. Very interesting there. So like sitting like this, completely forget about, you know, touching the steering wheel feels very good because in my version 12.3.6, I definitely have to touch the steering wheel here and there. But it seems like in this whole like 12 minutes, I just had to touch two times. 
pretty pretty impressive unless I'm like just looking at the camera or in the mirror sometimes the car probably detects that I'm looking somewhere else that moment I have to touch the steering wheel other than that there is like completely no touching at all oops the brake seems a little harsh here the white line is little far probably two three feet but still it stays in the back of two three feet of that white line and it breaks a little harsh like a little hard breaking there just want to put it out there because the camera doesn't catch all those like hard breaking or small breaking here and there but that's why i need to tell you what the car is doing so hope that you understand that we're gonna make a right turn on this red light as you can see Making a right turn, pretty nice, pretty, pretty nice, very good. Okay. Wow. The car didn't even break a little bit, like not at all. Like it is very confident that a black car just gonna go out from this drive like park place to that other lane and the car didn't even hesitate at all very nice another one you see it just it just knows like okay i can handle this very impressive very smooth it is going 35 on 30. There is no other car on those roads, so we can definitely make a left here. Very good job. Seems very confident. The car is driving itself, but it seems like very, very confident. So because we're gonna make a right turn on the stop sign, I prefer to be stay in the right side because so that I don't have to change a lane. The car did the, exactly the same thing. Very good job. We can either go from this lane on the left side and also this lane, the same lane we are in right now to go straight. But the car stays in the right side, which is the right thing to do because we're gonna make a right turn after passing this green light. So let's see. So thank you for watching guys. What do you think about this video, right? The car did everything amazingly and sometimes because of the, you know, uh, there is one little hard braking there and there was one time the car completely uh, mistakenly, you know, forget that navigation and didn't uh, navigate us to and following that navigation at all. It rerouted us to a different route and then just it probably increased the time a little bit. So don't forget to write down your comment section that what do you think about this drive. I'll definitely try some more videos in the future with this version. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you know what we're going to do. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.